All right, well, I just got into the uh, hotel here uh, where I'm gonna be staying uh, for a few days for work. Um, but uh, what we're about to do is we're about to get out of here and I'm gonna catch an Uber and I'm gonna go connect with Matt Byram of Matt Byram Exotics and see if we can't uh, see what he's got going on there. Cause I know there's one or two really cool animals that we definitely gotta take a look at. So uh, sit back, relax. Enjoy the ride. Let's get out of here. Good evening, YouTube. Boob, boob, boob. No? Do we gotta try it? Do it? No? We'll I'm, discover that. I'm sorry. We'll discover that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, YouTube. If you don't know where I'm at, this is Matt Byram. Up, Matt Byram Reptiles and... Peyton Byram Reptiles. There we go. So we uh, got... No. Not yet, <laughs> when I die. Uh, but I was, like I had been saying on, on my channel, I was down here for work and we managed to be able to connect with some yeah. time. Uh, we had some dinner, which was fantastic. Yeah. Dude, thanks for showing me I that I told place. you, man. You'll yeah, never no. be able to eat barbecue again. No, it's I've... called Tender's Barbecue and yeah. Daddy is addicted to it. And don't it. let Jared try to tell you that Cooper's is better because it's not. <laughs> and this stuff was amazing. I've had barbecue at home barbecue at home and it is like I'm ruined for life yeah. so uh, we're gonna take a few minutes and maybe yeah. show us some cool stuff maybe yeah. some projects maybe and show you stuff stuff you guys are working on yeah all right sounds good. sounds good Woo! all right man so we're we're on it here um, I mean, what do you want what do you want to show me gotta start here right I mean, oh, sunset crown. Uh, right with the big dog huh? so yeah I mean he ate two pups today so we can't really I want to check him out but no, that's fine. We yeah, get... he's... I mean, dude, he started at 46 grams. Last time I weighed him, he was 156, and that was like three weeks. Dude, that's awesome. We'll I love, I love the way the well, it looks a lot more white coming yeah, up the sides. No, it, it's, I think the clown different, definitely kept, makes it more beautiful. Kept the more red. Um, I, I don't see the snake browning out like some sunsets do, but it makes it more beautiful. I'll, I'll tell you pants. right now too, for me, like I had not been a big fan of sunset mm -hmm. until I saw this. So I was the same way. I mean, this is the first sunset I ever produced, right? When, when I got the call and they're like, Damon, want you to get in the sunset chain. I'm like, yeah, no, you know, but then you know, you going the, straight to sunset clown, sunset? I, I thought was the right thing to do. And. I mean, dude, you get Orange Dream into that, or you get, you know, Enchi into that. Yeah. Holy crap. Yeah, because the Enchi, Enchi, Yellow Dream Belly, Dream. OD, yeah. those all intensify that yeah. orange color. So yeah, yeah that's there's some going to be some great stuff coming. Yeah. No, I actually, I actually have a, a Leopard she? OD, Yellow Belly, Clown, um, Pet Pied, that would be interesting to put this guy to, because, you know, you get OD and Yellow Belly in that, and Wow. Oh, yeah. That's Sandy. Oh, that goodness that? gracious. <clears throat> what team is she? Yeah, so I'm, I, I'm really excited about this one. I bought this one from uh, Ozzy at uh, Tinley, I want to say last March. Was really? She's been shipped. She's a beast. She's like 17, 1800 grand now. She's got, uh, let me see what took her. She's at, I mean, she's only at 10.9 follicles. But she's a, she's a solid, what, 1,800 grams yeah, at least? Yeah, about that, about that. Um, but, but yeah, I got, I mean, I got kind of started late this year because everything, everything kind of laid late last year. Yeah. And so I was in no hurry she's to jump back into the breeding season. But this is, uh, this is what she's... It's a super orange green desert ghost pet Super orange dream leopard hat desert goes 50%. That's your boy from they they locked a couple times. This is a lover boy. Yeah, it's a lover boy. So yeah, I mean uh, Oh, so they're already locking. Yeah. Nice. So OD, so super OD. Um, to super OD. Yeah, so now this is pos super OD, but Ozzy was pretty sure it was. So I mean, when I label them, I just I I, I put the good energy out there in the world. Absolutely. So I just put super OD. Yeah, you got He may not be, but um, you know, imagine a super OD desert ghost leopard pie. That, uh, that would be a pretty cool thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's just crazy. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. <laughs> what are you going to show me now? Uh, what do we got? This is a lavender albino spider pinstripe. Ooh. She is a female. We've had her for a 
had her for, well, she's one of our first snakes. And you've probably actually seen her before on one of Brian's videos. Yeah. She was um, pinky. We've had her for a while now. She just ate two rats, so I'm not gonna get her out, but. Good call. She's really pretty. Yeah, a lot of great color. Is she going in the shed, or is she um, kind of? No, that's just her That's her color. color. She grew into it. So let me show you her boyfriend. All right. So what is this? Is her, her so, boyfriend? Yeah. This is her. This is uh, her breeding partner. Um, it's a leopard cinnamon confusion pet lavender. Wow. So, yeah. He's yeah. Leopard albino confusion. That'll be a money. Wow. That'll be a money pairing. Yeah. I'm really looking. I mean, can you imagine it? The, the, the purple, the, the contrast, the like, oh yeah. Uh, speaking of belly, um, I know he ate today, but can you like just show maybe show some of the people on YouTube what like that? What the confusion does? Yeah. So yep. look at that belly. Look, you make that belly lavender. Oh, oh my. my gosh! So you'll get color on the sides, yeah. down the belly. Yep. No. I'm not gonna mess with them too much, but no. like, yeah, I think it looks really good. And that's going to see that uh, yeah. lab spider. So an update on this girl would be kind of cool. So yeah, I fed today, so I'm not handling them too much, but this is the yellow bellies of Wadi now. I mean, look at the oranges starting to come out here. Yeah, it looks really she good. She eats like a champ. So I've got my original male going to a super gravel, and I've got a super gravel going to the original female, because what I'm trying to figure out is, you know, how this thing is, is reacting with the yellow belly, because yeah. I, have, I have it, that thing is insane. Um, got him going to a couple ivories, an ivory GHI. Um, you know, really trying to lock down the the yellow belly combos with uh, with this gene. That's so, good. But um, we're really starting to see the orange come out here. Yeah. I've always said. And how 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 old is this animal? Just out of uh, curiosity. Like... Maybe so. It, was, it hatched January of last year. Okay. So I mean, it's Just eleven months here. old, yep. right? She's. I want to say she's about 800, 900 grams. So. Okay. Uh, should be able to throw her in the mix, hopefully next year, but you know, we'll see. So we'll see. Um, maybe a little like just breeding information uh, on like what you what you do here. Um, you breed year round, or are you seasonal? Do you drop temps? No, Anything no, like I, I'm I'm seasonal. Um, I usually drop temps right after I get back from Tinley okay. in October. Yep. This year I waited a little longer because I was still getting eggs in September, yep. October. Wow. Um, so I didn't drop temps here till almost uh, December, January. So yeah. I'm still in the mix of it. Gotcha. Not pairing a whole lot yet. You know, I'm probably gonna ultrasound the end of this month. Yeah. I did a little bit of ultrasounding just cause some stuff has gone off food that didn't necessarily go last year. Um, and I'm not sure how to reset it to get it back to the normal breeding season. But, I, uh, you know, and honestly, I don't know if you can. Yeah, um, when I, I when I took a trip down to see Justin, um, one of the things he was saying is females are very cyclic. Um, so once they start laying at a certain time, yeah. they're pretty much going to lay, give or take 30 days from that point yeah. going forward. Um, I did not have, see, that was not my experience last year. Really? I mean, there was stuff that was three, four months, five months late. Wow. So, yeah, I, you know, I don't know. So this year, we this past season, we didn't drop temp. This year, we didn't drop temp. Okay. Um, but I took that information and I, you know, and I counted out all my girls yeah. and like to when they should be pairing. And uh, my girls are just going. Yeah. Like two locks, they're off yeah. food. See, they're swelling like yeah. they're done. So for me, I'm like I've up until this point, you know, and this was this was our fourth year producing animals. Mm -hmm. um, with drop temps and everything, it was like, I just seemed like I kept getting later and later and later and later. Okay. Um, and as soon as I made Stop the temps constant yep. and started like trying to follow yep. this, you know, yeah. thing. Totally and then sense. like space the girls out so they always have five months to mm -hmm. like recoup and get back up. And then that's when they start locking. It, one, it allows my males to do a lot more work because they're all not starting in November, yeah. right? I may have two girls in November, one yeah. in December, and then maybe not another one to February yeah. or March. Yeah, uh, 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 an interesting comment I heard at uh, Tinley in October, um, a pretty big time breeder that we all would know was telling me that you wanna limit your copulations. 
So three, four copulations. But when you start going five, six, seven, eight copulations, that is too many. So was it Miguel? I'm not, just shh. Girlfriend? Man, <laughs> it actually wasn't. So anyway, um, but anyway, yeah. So I'm trying to do the same thing. I'm trying to really ultrasound and understand the sweet spot. Yep. And you know, you, you want to do some locks because it releases pheromones in your room and sure. gets everything else going. But I mean, I hammered my males last year. And, yeah, I've done the same thing in the past. Yeah, yeah, and I'm not doing that this year. Yep, same here. Yeah, I'll see that. We've had him for a while. He was actually um, one of our first skeletons that actually grew up to be this size. He is uh, a scale slapper male. His name is Ball Spot. Would that be because of the spot in his head? Ask oh, no. Dad, he named him. Baldy. Yeah, he's awesome. Yeah. He just looks, I, I still to this day can't get over the, just the difference that scaleless makes. Um, you can have the same animal and when it's scaleless, the colors are different, the patterns, yeah. you know, different. Well, so even scaleless head as a, as a gene all by itself, even if you're not trying to make um, scaleless animals, I mean, amplify stuff, makes oh, it gosh. very HD. It, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, it, and this is a, it's just a scaleless head pastel. Yeah, you I mean, can definitely see yeah a lot of clarity. Yeah, you show me. I mean, show me a pastel that's that clean. And she's an adult, I and mean, she's twenty three hundred grams or something like that. She's like twenty six hundred grams. Maybe. Butter lesser. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy. Daddy, can you go look at her? Well, butter lesser with the scale of head. Yeah, but, I mean, look, she will bite you too, so be careful. But I mean, she's so clean. You could put her up against a 125 gram hatchling and the colors are different. Just, yeah, definitely. Like, I, I just love like the definition. All right, man, well, so I know mo one of the things that you're more recently, I guess, known for is the Zuwadi stuff. Yeah, and so. You've, I know you've made a few of them. Yeah, let me show you, I just want to show you the base gene. So this is, this is the base gene. This is, that's it, All right, so. Again, you've got the dorsal, you've got the oranges in there, the these stomach. little blushings. You know, the A-lane heads kind of bleed into the belly. Yep. Um, yeah, so that's the base gene. I like the colors, the colors very. So, that's a very similar animal there. Um, you know, this Ooh, one we're throwing. Yeah, we're throwing Inchi and Vanilla into there. So yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Um, so this is the same animal, a little those. smaller, but this favorite. one is actually uh, my hat clown female. I bred the. Wow. I bred the. So my male to an Inchi clown. And, uh, so what's here? This is Zuwadi Inchi Mojave Vanilla Hat Clown. That's a mouthful. Yeah. I love this snake. So come over the here. Um, and I don't want to pull him out because he's eating two pups today. But here's the, and he's in shed, but this is the base gene with uh, a clown. So I like, I like almost like the bone structure or shape yeah. on the dorsal spine. Um, it reminds me of, so we have a, a pastel lesser het puzzle at home mm -hmm. and and i believe the yeah. het puzzle kind of has it, a similar it, it, like it does the, like influence there the het monsoons do the same thing where the they kind of turn them on its side yeah yeah so that looks yeah. really cool so this is the fire version of that clown wow that's good well, looks like somebody just ate too yeah and that's why i'm not pulling them out just because you ate yeah two oh, that's fine ago. snake before we go um and before i really zoom in on this i think you were just saying you've never shown this one before. yeah we've never shown it but this is what we believe to be the super this is a super female i i am certain it has mojave in it because my male has mojave in it so i think it's a zuwadi super zuwadi mojave 
Wow. Um, yeah. And so. you produce this here? Yes. What gives Very it? Nice. What gives it the qualities of the super zelati? It's just two levels of yeah. zelati. Yeah. Pretty it's much. Uh, Miguel actually has the same snake, but it's a male. The, oh, really? Show yeah. them the stomach, how it like, kind of the pattern. Yeah, almost get that little smokiness from like a GHI-ish. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I, I really want to see the, zoop, the super without Mojave. Yeah. Um, it has the Mojave stripe. All right, guys, so thanks for coming along. Um, we're uh, just outside of um, Irving, Texas. This is Auburn, Aubrey. Aubrey, 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 Texas. Aubrey, Texas. Uh, don't ask me. I've, this is the second time I've been in Texas and <laughs> never been here before. Um, but but love it here. Great food. Yep. Great people. And we're going to be back in uh, next, weekend. next weekend for yep. Arlington. So hope to see more of you guys there with us. Yep. And um, you have a dance company. So if people like what they've seen oh, today, yeah. how, how do they get a hold of you to maybe Just, purchase animals? You know, and stuff? Matt Byram Exotics on uh, on Morph Market yep. on Instagram. I mean, I'm out there. I'm okay. Yeah. So we'll put links in the description down below for his Morph Market and Instagram stuff. And definitely give him a follow. Uh, stay dialed in. And if you see something you like, you know, go grab it quick. Because the stuff a good snake flies daddy. off the shelf. <laughs> All right, y'all. We'll see you next weekend. Peace.